Yeah, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Jay. Waking up early in the morning to cook up the episode of the day, and later on there will be a stream for you beautiful people. Ah, uh, story time again today, guys. I had fun with the last one. I had a lot of good reviews in school last time about the last story. And before Mark chops my head off tomorrow for not mentioning our story. Marcos, we need to play 2K in order for it to follow the theme. So, when you see a Call of Duty story, you know it has to do with something really bad that happened. If you see 2K, it's either about a competition or basketball. Or any other shooting game, you know it's bad or whatever. But anyways, guys, <laughs> other than that, man, I just want to address Marcos so he don't kill me tomorrow. <laughs> and let's just hop into the story. So, um, October 29th, 2013, I'm going to say. That is my birthday, October 29th. Now, it was I, it was the first time I'd ever stood up late. It was like, my mom and friend gave me permission to stay up late. Like, if I haven't already hidden my phone or my pillow or whatever, she finally let me stay up, thankfully. <laughs> and she was like, oh, you know... You're allowed to stay up, um, take out your phone or whatever as soon as the kids fall asleep. So I had to, you know, fake fall asleep with my brothers. It took them a while to fall asleep. These kids could not stop talking. And what they were talking, I think at the time, they were talking about Minecraft and whatever. So I'm there like, yo, could y'all shut up? So we could continue, so I could continue playing. I wasted my time. Because it was, it was a school day. It was, it was a Thursday. And I was like, come on, you know, y'all wasted my time, man. I'm trying to play. Come on, guys. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just chill, you know, trying to play. So then, oh, shoot, nice double. So then, uh, they fall asleep after, like, 30 minutes. And I and I think I fell asleep for, I dozed, not fall asleep, like, fall asleep, fall asleep. I dozed off for 10 minutes. And after those 10 minutes, bro, you know, I had woken up. And my mom had just came into the room to see what was up with me that I didn't come out yet. Because it had been 40 minutes. The 30 minutes that it took my brothers to fall asleep and the extra 10. Usually it doesn't take them that long to fall asleep. So when my mom walked in, she goes, did you fall asleep? I go, no, no, no. I just dozed off for a minute. I was, I was in my thought. And I seen that guy walking. I didn't get him. Um, So, yeah. I get up. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No. So I get up and go chill in the living room. With my, oh, wow. That was a waste of sight. To go chill in the living room with my mom. And the time I had an iPhone 4S and whatever. It was 11 something, no pause, it was 10 something, and, um, and, um, what was it, dang, yeah, yeah, now I remember, it was 10 something, she was watching Law and Order, because you were doing a Law and Order special all night, and I was on YouTube, and I think the YouTuber I was watching was Ali A or Chris Move, at the time, they were, they were both one of my favorites, to this day, um, they still one of my favorites, but, you know, I haven't watched them as of recent, so I can't really say, like, I'm a fanboy of them. I just really like the content they put out. Ooh, kill him! Nice move! Oh! No, 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 no! Let's go! Bloodthirsty, what are y'all doing? What are you doing? Let's go! So, oh, man, what was that? Oh, yeah. So, um, I was playing... Dang. I came back to the room after they fell asleep, and I played for an hour... I think Street Fighter 4. I think it was Street Fighter 4 or Tekken 6 or whatever. It was an old game. I mean, not really old. It was just like, um, the games, you know. Not not, a, not like a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 or whatever. I don't even think Black Ops 2 came out at that time or whatever. But okay. I'm just doing it for the story. So, chilling and playing, chilling and playing, chilling and playing. It hits, it hits 11. I got bored. I went to the room. I mean, I went to the living room. And when I went to the living room, bro, oh man, it was it was so quiet. I didn't expect nothing to happen. And when when it hit 12 on the dot, I went to go check out the window because my father, my stepfather, was um was getting out from work. He he was working in Brooklyn or whatever. So we was I, I was just me and my mom was just waiting for him. My mom comes to me with a brownie and she puts a little candle in and she goes, "Happy birthday." She was making me a cake. Don't don't think it was not like that. She was just giving me a little nice treat or whatever. So, 
GG. Um, I'm waiting for we were waiting for my father, and two guys are in front of the house, and we didn't have cameras installed at this time. So we're looking, we're looking outside the house, like, yo, what's good with these guys? And they started arguing for a minute. One guy goes behind his pocket, reaches out for a gun, and pulls two shots on the guy in front of him. The guy in front of him drops to the ground, and immediately I thought it was my father. The first thing I thought was, oh, it's my stepdad. Oh, my stepdad. Oh, shoot. So we go. So we go and we're like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? And then my mom was like, call the police and whatever. And you know, I, who was genuinely scared that it was my father, we called the police and whatever. And they, and they came and whatever. The body was missing for a minute. Supposedly he crawled up the block or something, somewhere to duck for cover or whatever. Because so I guess the guy was still watching to see if he was alive or whatever. So, mm. so the police do an investigation. They they were outside the house checking the crime scene. I don't know what happened to the guy if he lived or not, but I can tell you this: he was an undercover cop. That being said, being an undercover cop is a big deal and whatever. It wasn't on the news or anything, so you know we we didn't expect any big things to happen. But yo, the next day I wake up to go to school, right? Get dressed and everything. Ah, bro, I go outside. They're raiding the house, one, two, the cop, there was like a whole SWAT team right there, the, they pull ARs on me, they go, stay inside the building, don't get out, son, I took off all my clothes, no homo, I said, ma, I ain't going outside, that officer just pulled an AR on me, because they're SWATting that other house, you are definitely bugged if you think I'm going to school, and I stood home that day, so I got out of school, I had a great birthday, but sad to see that somebody got shot, it was kind of scary because they should they pulled the AR in my face telling me to stay inside the building and not to come out. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this story, guys. If you did enjoy, leave a like, comment down below. Tell me what you want to see in the next story. And it's been your boy, Jay, signing off for the day. Peace!